for stopping by the Massachusetts Beer Review edition of YouTube. I'm Thomas Metal 75. This is your Massachusetts Beer Review for Christmas Day 2015. Right now, until we get to the next beer review, right now I have a 4.2% yes, 4.2% alcohol by volume beer from the East Africa Brewing Breweries Limited Company. From Nairobi, Kenya comes the finest quality lager imported, Tusker Lager. Again, Tusker Lager is from Nairobi, Kenya, and I cannot think of any other beers from the continent of Africa I would have ever had. Um, on the East African Brewing Limited, EABL.com website, they said that the name Tusker came about because the uh, founder of the brewery was actually killed by an elephant. Something probably looking like that guy. The name Tusker came about as a memoriam following the death of George Hurst, a co-founder of Kenya Brewing Limited, who was killed by an elephant during a hunting expedition in 1922, and it's been their flagship brand ever since. They say Tusker Lager, or Tusker, is brewed from 100% African ingredients that are locally sourced. The barley is from Savannah, and the Maisy Mara, the spring water is from the Alberdare Mountains, and the yeast is developed locally, which means that you can closely feel connected to the brand's origins and roots, da 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 and it's in bottles, cans, and 50, 30, 50 liter kegs. Okay. Thought it looked interesting. Obviously, I've never had a beer from the continent of Africa or Nairobi or anywhere like that. So, here's the Tusker Lager cap. Tusker, Tusker. With the elephant that killed George Hurst. Or something like that. So, Louisiana Beer Reviews, uh, Jay Terrio tells me if I like Carlsberg, then I will like this one. I guess Carlsberg has some kind of an ownership or partnership with the Tusker Brewery or brand. Um, if you have that information, please post that in the comment section. And this is a very carbonated, carbonated uh, bottle of beer right now. Wow. And here is the Tusker Lager. It is a very beautiful golden appearance. In my glass, it has a one finger head. In a narrower brimmed glass, it might have a larger head. It's not, again, it starts pretty carbonated, but once you get in that glass, you just see a couple of bubble streams coming up every so often. It's a light cloudy haze color. It's not too sediment rich or hazy or anything like that just a light murky color and the head is it's a little pop pop fizz fizz and the head is pretty thin at this point looks like a standard uh world pale lager kind of beer so let's get a smell of the tusker from nairobi kenya and that's definitely got some kind of uh mineral watery Kind of a scent that's that's a different scent i've not smelled before that could i'm thinking again that that could be the the that water that they use probably in at their brewery that i'm getting a smell from it's very grainy it has those sweet malts definitely like that fresh cut grassiness and an earthy Kind of a hop, maybe a little bit of a light biscuit malt, but I mean, overall, it smells pretty clean and nothing's really to me offensive. There might be a light corniness or that light vegetable cooked veggie 
kind of a thing going on in it. But to me, for a lager, it smells pretty um, refreshing and inviting. So I'm going to go right into some Tusker Lager from Nairobi, Kenya. Cheers, everybody. Merry Christmas, part one. It's got a distinctive sweetness, for sure. There's a there's a nice light corn syrupy sweetness in that beer to me. Mixed with some kind of a a pale malty cooked veggie grainy taste but the I think the cooked veggies and the malt uh, the cooked veggies and the grain are very very light which is what I like about this beer I don't think to me it's as good as Carlsberg for whatever reason don't ask me why I am so into Carlsberg but I am and this is gonna sound strange it has nothing to do with the actual beer itself but the bottle I don't know what it is about the bottle. To me, it feels, it, it's a very sturdy, weighty bottle. It just feels like a quality-made bottle for whatever reason. So. Okay, so back to the actual review of the beer. We talked about that the bottle felt very well-constructed. And it's got an interesting sweetness to it, as we were saying. Yeah, I'd say it's on the, for the body of the beer, it's on the um, high side of light towards medium, but it's definitely a lighter bodied ale. It's pretty crisp. Well, it's moderately crisp. It's not over, it's not tongue or mouth prickling. It's got that minerally water taste. And it is fairly refreshing. To me, it's got that, again, I keep saying it, I'm not sure how to really properly describe that, but it's got an interesting mineral water corn syrup sweetness thing going on. That's very interesting. I would definitely give... I think I would definitely give the Tusker Lager a high B plus rating as far as a lager beer is concerned. And looking at it as that style, that's what I would categorize it in as the lager beer. I'm definitely going to give that a B high B plus. I think it's a little, it's a little that that sweetness is a little, and that graininess is a little funky. To, I think it would be a little funky to some. And it is fairly dry, which is nice about that, but it leaves you with that. I don't know if it's, it's not skunky. It's almost like apple juicy in a way, which I think, I don't think it's that green apple juicy thing, but some people would say that the apple flavor is an off flavor in the brewing process. I don't really know what to think about that, but I'm going to give that a B plus. I, I think I would buy that again, but... If I just want a lager beer for the sake of drinking a lager beer, I would definitely, at the pale variety, I would definitely buy a Carlsberg for sure. Um, I would buy Carlsberg. I would buy Miller High Life. I would buy Pax Blue Ribbon Beer. If I wanted a cheaper American-style lager without... Spending a bunch of money, but with a little fuller flavor, I would definitely buy natural ice. I know, sue me. But Tusker Lager will get a B plus from Thomas Metal seventy five. Merry Christmas out there to you all. We will be back for a another Christmas beer tasting of something a little more interesting. So 
Stay tuned. Until next time, keep tasting those great beers. Cheers. We will be seeing you soon. Stay tuned.